Donald Lipsky's artwork is made up of books, 1,500 books. I've always had a tremendous affection for books. Uh, people in my generation um, just do, I believe. Uh, maybe humans do. Lipsky recently spent a week in San Diego installing the artwork in the library's auditorium. The books were chosen for what they look like rather than for, uh, for their content. It's, it's not the world's great books, uh, important scientific theories. They're just books that, uh, that I thought would look right in the piece. Lipsky and a crew layered the books one on top of another at different angles. Then they screwed them to the wall. It looks as if the wall were a giant magnet and sucked all the books in the room to its surface. There are close to 4,000 screws securing the books and the wire mesh cover on top. You can find Lipsky's large-scale public art pieces all over the country. He suspended this butterfly sculpture from the ceiling of a science building in Denver. Its wings are made from thousands of test tubes. This piece was made for the airport in Atlanta. It's made of Swarovski crystals. Lipsky seems to enjoy clever titles for his artwork. This one is called Rebel Lace. It's an anagram of Liberace. The artwork for the new Central Library is called Hiding My Candy. It's the title of one of the books on the wall, a memoir by a Southern drag queen named Lady Chablis, who was featured in the book and movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. John, do you think I'm beautiful? The phrase, hiding my candy, it seems to uh, Im imply an awful lot. Uh, and especially when you look at it in the context of these books that are hiding each other, the screen is uh, hiding the books more, that it, it seemed evocative and I thought was a really good title. Four commissioned artworks will be placed in the new library. Lipsky's piece was chosen from a national competition that drew 350 applicants. Dana Springs is overseeing the selection and installation of the art. One thing to think about is that often when we select an artwork, we're selecting the artist, not necessarily the proposal. In this case, we selected both, the artist and the proposal. His artwork does mirror his personality, that he creates artwork that is large of scale, that is witty, that is classically beautiful, that is fun and playful, and in a lot of ways he transmits that kind of energy through his person. Lipsky's piece was actually selected for the library back in 2002. Already 10 years ago you could see that the uh, that what a book is in society was changing, uh, what a library is was changing. Now a, a library is lots and lots of other things. Uh, hence you have this auditorium that's really a, a beautiful new civic gathering space. Who knows how we'll be reading 30 years from now, which means Lipsky's artwork will only get more interesting, which is exactly his goal. I like to try to make work that uh, can have a lot of impact all at once, but still have enough substance that if you see it over time, uh, it'll give you more and more to think about. It's a challenge, it's a challenge. But uh, to me, it's very satisfying making art that's really for everybody. Angela Carone, KPBS News.